Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Pitstick at SoulProof.com. We're talking about when a child dies. Some understandings to help lighten your grieving when a child in your life passes on. And one key is to not blame God or personify God with this. I get letters from around the world just about every day saying, in effect, why did God take my child? We've talked about that that God is a, a force, an intelligence, love, not a big man, this guy that's deciding who dies and, and uh, who gets smited and so on. And so uh, there really is more of a rhyme and a reason to that. If your child passed on, that means that as a soul, it was time for that soul to graduate. Now certainly uh, the child, him or herself, didn't want to leave, didn't want to leave the family, but there's a big difference between earth age and soul age. So just because a, a child may be two, four, six, eight, ten years old in earth age, it could be a very old or evolved soul in spirit age. Oftentimes when I talk with parents, bereaved parents, they'll describe that they had a feeling that their child wasn't long for this life. The child just seemed too good. The child seemed to be um, otherworldly, had a different look in their eye. Sometimes uh, the child would even draw pictures uh, showing them going up to be met by the angels. This is when they were four or five years old, and I made children write about that. And then later on, the child would die. Uh, one uh, parent <clears throat> described his daughter, Lauren, who died of brain cancer at age eight. They would go visit her in the, the cancer center and she wouldn't be in her room and invariably they would find her visiting other older patients and Lauren would be cheering them up, comforting them, don't worry, you're gonna be okay, everything will work out just fine. What, what eight-year-old does that? So again, more evidence that these are old souls who didn't have to do the whole 90-year earth classroom thing. They needed to come just for a short time to achieve their goals of service to others, of growth and lessons, and then they were able to go back home. Remember this time on earth is a blink of an eye and span of eternity, not where we hang out forever. It's just a very small fragment of life eternal. So these are some of the things that, that can help. Remember that you'll see them again. All the soul proof evidence uh, shown in the book Soul Proof and in the documentary film Soul Proof showing without a doubt that there is an afterlife. You will see your loved ones again. Dying is not a goodbye, but a see you later. And finally, I'd like to share a, on this topic a quote from Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, MD. She says, quote, learn to get in touch with the silence within yourself and know that everything in life has purpose. There are no mistakes, no coincidences. All events are blessings given to us to learn from. Now I know that's difficult when that involves the death of a child, but hopefully with all the soul proof evidence and remembering who you are, who it is that walks beside you, you'll get through this in a lighter way, a better way, and even find a way to honor and continue on the, the gifts that came from your brief time with this little loved one.